In today's video, I'm going to share with you how the light intensity and the quality of the light changes depending on what you place in front of your light and what you modify your light with. So let's go. So first of all, let's break down our setup. So what we currently have is a 200 watt strobe and that is currently bare bulb. We are in a bit of a white space, so light will bounce around a little bit more. We're going to set our strobe, which is a 200 watt strobe. And that particular strobe goes, the lowest power setting on that strobe is one thirty second power and highest power setting is one. We're going to keep it somewhere in the middle so you can actually see how the change is gradual from modifier to modifier. Um, and that's going to stay at 1.8 power. Again, that's a 200 watt strobe. So for camera settings, our camera is going to be at f5.6, ISO 100 and shutter speed 1 60th of a second. So to begin with, let's go with the bare bulb. As you can see, the light is currently about six to eight feet away from the actual backdrop. Again, bear in mind the surroundings we're in. So we're going to take our first shot with the bare bulb at that current setting so you can see how the light looks with bare bulb. And as you can see, we get a nice even spread of light. The center of where that light is positioned is going to be slightly brighter because the concentrated light is going straight forward. But the edges of that light are starting to fade so you get a really nice soft edge of that light. Um, you're going to see as we add modifiers on how the softness of that light changes and the edges of that light changes as well. So the first modifier you would want to use depending on the style and vibe you're going for would be one of these. This is a five inch reflector. This has got a silver interior. These also come with grids, which I'm going to share with you later on um, how you can actually use grids as well to modify the light and the quality of the light depending on the vibe and feel you're going for. But what this is going to do is it's going to control the light a little bit, but it might also, because it's a silver interior and it's a reflective interior, it might also spill a little bit more light than the bare bulb. But what you'll have is a much more concentrated light towards the middle of the actual frame. So let's put this on and show you what that looks like. So now that we've got our modifier on, let's take another shot. One, two. There you can see the beam of light now is a lot smaller and the center of that light is a lot harsher. So yes, there's a bit of control using this modifier, but this light is very harsh and very specular. So if you imagine you've got a subject in front of this light, it would be a very harsh and specular light. So it's a very hard light. So the next modifier we've got here in the studio or the next modifier you might find in a studio is a beauty dish. So we'll switch out the modifiers now. Is a beauty dish and this one is a collapsible beauty dish. Um, but this one also is slightly different. Again, this has a white interior. So the light is gonna be a little bit softer than if you were using one that had a silver interior. So these come in white and also silver. Um, this is a double diffuse one, but what I'm going to do first is show you how the light looks with just the white interior and then we will then add each layer of diffusion. This comes with two layers of diffusion to then show you what difference that makes for the overall look and vibe of the shot. So let's go ahead now and take a shot now that our... And as you can see from that shot, you get a really nice soft diffuse light you'll also see that the edges of the light is actually a lot more gradual um, again be simply because the spread of the light is going out that way so it's not just going straight ahead it's also going towards that way so it's a bigger spread of light so now let's just go ahead and add our diffusion material and you'll see how incredibly different the image will look with just adding diffusion in front of what we already have so this is what the light would look like with the first layer of diffusion on so you see the difference is very very minimal 
um, but the light is a lot softer also the spread of the light becomes a lot smaller and you will also start seeing that gradual gradient of where the light actually falls off on the softbox so what we're going to do now is add the second layer of diffusion so we've now added our second layer of diffusion onto our light let's take a shot and see how the overall quality and quantity of that light changes straight away you see that the light does lose a little bit of power um, and also the spread of the light is a lot more concentrated as well um, you still get the really nice gradient um, as the light fall off but you also lose a little bit of the power and intensity of the actual light so that's what it's like with just your standard um, beauty dish let's switch that out to another one of those common use um, modifiers in the studio which is an octobox so we've now added a 95 cm octobox and um, this is an octobox that again is double fuse it's also silver on the inside so same as the five inch reflector you'll get the same sort of effect with using something like this as is with the silver inside alone so we're going to take our first shot with the, just the silver inside what we need to do is also pay attention to the spread of the light so now the light because we've added a bigger modifier we've kept our light and camera settings exactly the same we're getting a little bit more spill on the wall as you can see um, and also the gradient is a lot more stronger and um, so from dark to light it's a lot more stronger so let's add our first layer of diffusion <laughs> so now that we've added our first layer of diffusion let's take another shot and see what that looks like and by adding that first layer of diffusion again the pattern with the last modifier repeats itself so you will start losing a bit of the intensity of the light as you keep adding diffusions in front of that light so let's now add the second diffusion material and then you will also see how quickly the intensity and the quality of that light changes now that we've add our second layer of diffusion let me show you how that light drastically changes and you get a completely different look um, again a light will be a lot softer um, because we've now had it two layers of diffusion but also we're also losing we're also going to be losing a bit of the intensity of the light because we've added those diffusion materials so let's take this shot and show you what that looks like so you can see straight away the intensity of that light has definitely changed and the power of that light seems as if we've almost dropped the light power but again our camera settings is exactly the same all we're doing is adding diffusion material in front of that light and the more diffusion material you add the less intense the light becomes so we have got one more diffusion material you can add in front of this which is a grid your standard grid which looks like this so what this will do is help you focus the light so that there is no spill on the right or left side or top or bottom of the light this will focus the light to go straight so let's put this on and see exactly the difference that that makes now that we've added our grid to our light let's see how the intensity of the light changes So you can see the huge difference that makes from where we started with just the actual softbox without any diffusion material with the silver interior all the way to the first layer of diffusion, second layer of diffusion and now the grid. The quality of the light and the intensity of the light drastically changes and um, is much more of a stronger shadow yes it's still gradual but there's a much more stronger vignette um, and you can also see how focused the light is this principle applies for any size of softbox you use depending on obviously the interior of that particular softbox where this might change and where this might differ is if you were using umbrellas compared to actual softbox 
and depending on what type of umbrella you actually use. So you have umbrellas which are shoot through as well as umbrellas which you shoot into and you've got those in both white and silver as well. So it can obviously change your shot. Um, but when it comes to the studio photography and studio lighting in general, um, it's a matter of taste and what you are looking to actually create but understanding the principle of light and how you can control it will be very very valuable and important for your workflow as well as your creative process so being able to actually understand how you can manipulate control and affect the light in within your frame um, is very important but you also need to understand what happens when you actually place diffusion materials or what happens when you place a softbox and how the intensity and the quality of that light actually changes. 